Hey guys, welcome to my Mickey ears tutorial. <laughs> so I just wanted to preface by saying there are so many ways to make ears and this is obviously not the best way. It's not the only way. It's not the prettiest way. It's just my way and what I have found to be easiest for me and that makes ears that I like. Uh, and also to start, this does not include a sewing machine at all. So this is totally non-sewing, non-sewing machine. So to start, I am going to show you and explain <laughs> what materials you guys need. And everything can be found at like Hobby Lobby, Joanne Fabrics, um, that's actually where I get all of my stuff. So, and don't forget when you go to Hobby Lobby, if it's already not a percentage off, make sure to pull up uh, the 40% coupon on their website. Okay, so the first thing you need for the base of the ears is what I use is this foam board. So this is in um, usually the back section of Hobby Lobby and it is very, very tiny um, width. So when I go through the process of making ears, um, to make an actual ear, you will need two of these glued on top of each other. So when we start to etch out the ears on this, we will actually be etching out four separate ears. Um, yeah, because one ear is composed of two of these. So you will need one of these, and they're actually quite big. So I can make a ton of ears with just one board, and they're like two or three dollars or something. And Obviously the best part, you need fun fabric. This is the best part ever. And if you're really into making ears, you can even find more unique fabric like on Etsy, um, sometimes even eBay, people are selling like fabric they don't use anymore. Uh, yeah, and some people will do custom fabric, it's so cool. But I found the cutest Star Wars fabric at Joann's, and this is the fabric that I'm gonna be using for today. So if you are just making uh, ears, then you really want to get the smallest cut of fabric and that's one eighth. And you can tell them that or you can just be like, I want the smallest amount of fabric that you will cut. And it will come like in a long strip and uh, then you cut all of that fabric into equal sections. So for this, I obviously uh, cut four pieces uh, one for the back and front of each ear. And actually with the smallest cut of fabric from Joann's, I can make two pairs of ears. So I actually have eight squares that I was able to cut off. So that is awesome, because I can make two ears with this really cute fabric. <laughs> but yeah, pick a really fun fabric. And also a pro tip, if your fabric is wrinkled of any kind, just iron it before you get started. It's super easy. And then obviously you will need a headband. I also get these at Hobby Lobby or Joann's and they're actually really comfortable too. But I get the headband that's about like this size. Uh, otherwise uh, it's too thick or it's too thin. So this is, as Goldilocks would say, just right. <laughs> and they have different colors too, but for this fabric I wanted a black headband. And uh, to make things simpler for me and uh, better looking, I actually pre-buy my bows at Hobby Lobby. Uh, I have made bows from fabric before, but that's just another step for me to do. And I really like the sequin bows. So again, I chose this one for this fabric, but Hobby Lobby has a bunch of different colored sequin bows and even some non-sequin bows. So you will need a bow. And then all the nitty gritty stuff. So this is very faded because <laughs> I have used it a lot but you do need an ear trace that you will trace with a pencil. Uh, I would honestly just Google Mickey Mouse ear traceable and you should find something like this. You just print it and you cut it unless you are really good at drawing circles. <laughs> yeah, and then, um, yeah, you will need a pencil to trace it on here. And then after you're done tracing all the ears, you need an X-Acto knife to X-Acto knife the ears out. And I just want to say with these, this is so sharp. It is so, 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 so sharp. I have definitely cut myself on accident because I wasn't careful enough and it hurts and it cuts you. So please be careful. 
and also not just with your body, but be careful of any furniture that you cut on. I know a lot of people who do crafts like this, they have like a worker craft table and if they get paint on it, marker, or like put a scratch in it from something like this, they don't care because it's their work table. So just keep that in mind because I would not want you to be cutting on your beautiful kitchen table and then lift it up and there's all of these earmarks in it. Please, please, please don't have that happen. <laughs> and some other things that we need, oh yeah, obviously, we need scissors to cut the fabric. And, oh yeah, next. So again, I'm gonna be going over this much more in depth, but I wanna give you a little um, preface. When you glue each individual fabric piece on the back or front of the ear, you obviously need to glue that on with something. And again, you can use whatever glue is best for you. I have used spray glue before. I have used rubber cement like with the brush, but for right now what I have available, and that's kind of how it goes, whatever I have in the house I use, I have this um, super durable glue, which I would squeeze onto the ear and then I would brush it to make sure that it's nice and smooth and flat. You don't want like clumpy pieces of glue. <laughs> that does not look good. <laughs> and then when the end, you need a hot glue gun uh, and probably a few glue sticks. And then you need a sequin ribbon reel and you need the hot glue gun because that's how you're gonna glue on the sequin ribbon. And you also need the hot glue gun because that's how you're gonna glue on the ears to the headband and the bow to the headband. But again, I will show this in much more detail, but you use sequin ribbon to cover along the rough edges of the ear where the fabric meets and it's not quite pretty yet until you put the ribbon on. So those are all the materials you need. And again, this is for a basic pair of ears. I've also done ears where I've put like flowers along the headband, but this is just your basic pair of bowed ears. So that is all you need. And again, everything is very um, cost effective. And lots of times once you buy something like the, the board and like the sequin ribbon and like the glue, you have that for like a few pair of ears. So it's really cost effective and it's really fun and should only, not even take you up to like an hour, even like a half hour. So it's a really fun activity to do and a fun way to bring your Disney style to the park. So let's get started. Okay, here we are. We're gonna start by tracing uh, four pairs of ears. And again, two ears go together to make one bigger ear. So let's start, I'm gonna move this sharp piece of utensil out of the way. <laughs> so this does not need to be hard. It can just be light enough where you can see it. So I'm tracing all the way around and however you like to trace, you make that your fancy. <laughs> and also, I don't know if you guys saw, um, so I have that trace, but on my ears here, it's not just a circle. It has like a little divot here, and that's where it kind of like concaves up to sit on the ear. So that's something also to think about when you're finding a, uh, a traceable, is that it has like that little um, inward dip there, because that's a little bend that fits on the ear. Okay, so I have this trace, and I have a little um, technique with how I cut. So this is probably the place where you have to be the most careful, most precise, because you don't want jagged ears and edges and stuff like that. So I first start with tracing exactly on my line and I trace it very superficially um, because I do it a little bit deeper later on. So when you trace it like superficially like this, you get the base cut that you need to make your ear, but you're not like digging in. It, it's a lot harder that way. So when you do like the base cut like this, then you can go through a second and a third time to get it deeper and to push it out like that. And this is probably the most time consuming part to be honest. 
Um, so I just did the base cut and I'm gonna show you guys in a faster version how to do this for all four ears. So let's get going. is of a lighter color. You will for sure be able to see it and it's gonna make you really upset <laughs> that you just did all that hard work and you can see glue to the fabric. <laughs> so those are both glued together and what we're gonna do now is the exact same thing but we are going to do it with the fabric. So this is kind of a fun part because you kind of got to play around with, okay, where on the fabric do I want um, the ear to be placed? Is there certain parts of the fabric that I want on the front part of the ear versus the back part of the ear? So I like to try and make it as varied as possible if I can. So again, we're going to dip the brush and paint the glue on. I'm gonna be doing this in a fast time, um, so that's why I'm not actually doing it right now. But one thing you'll notice is that when you have it glued on like this, it there's a lot of excess. You're like, what the heck? <laughs> so that's where you're gonna take the scissors and you're gonna cut the excess fabric off, but not too much because you need a little bit of the fabric to fold over on the sides of the ears. And I'll show you guys a close up of that when I'm done. But cut it enough where it can still fold over like half of the ear. My philosophy is always cut less first because you can always cut more off. But if you cut more off right away, you can't cut any less off. <laughs> so I'll speed this up a little bit so you guys can see how I do this in fast side. And then we'll be getting close to putting the sequins on. Yay! It is now time to glue on all the sides and the ribbon. <laughs> I'm so excited, we're almost done, you guys. So as you can see here, I'm gonna pull back the flaps of the fabric a little bit. If you fold it over on one side and then fold it over on the other side, they'll kind of meet in the middle. There might be a little 
space in between, but that's totally fine because that's where the sequin ribbon is gonna come in and go over it. So let's start by gluing a little bit of the fabric. I just kind of do it a little bit at a time because you want to make sure that, um, there we go. You want to make sure that you don't do too much glue at once because otherwise the glue will dry before you get to put the fabric down. And just also be careful with the hot glue gun because it is, as it says, very hot. <laughs> All right, so then I do that. That side's good, it dries so quickly, yeah. And then I'll do the other side. And then I'll essentially be doing that the whole way around on the ears. And again, you do not <laughs> need to use a lot of glue. Just a little bit, otherwise you'll have excess glue, which I have on my fingers and then I kind of just like rub off and just throw in the trash. But as you can see there, it's all glued and it's kind of come together, but obviously you don't want your ears looking like that because it's just like this awkward line there. So then I will take the ribbon and I will start with that. And I do this even more carefully just because you want to make sure you get it lined up. So I'll put, again, very small line of glue and then Put the ribbon, sequin ribbon on, and I'll pat it down to make sure that it's stuck. And then I'll do that one more little piece here. And then again, if you have like some excess hot glue, um, don't worry about it because it's very stringy, so it can be very easy just to like pull it off like that. And then any little extra like frillies can just be cut off like that. But I'm gonna um, go fast so you can see me do all of it. But I uh, I always do the glue on all the sides first, and then I'll go around and do all of the the ribbon. And then the bottom, you obviously don't need to put ribbon on because that's gonna be the bottom, but you do need to, here, I'll show you guys. You do need to glue the bottoms. Don't worry too much about the presentation on this because again, this is gonna be on the bottom of the ear. And just make sure you got a few little extra glue sticks around because that's never fun to be working on your pair of ears and then all of a sudden you're out of glue and you really want them like close by just because you're on a roll and you don't want to stop so that's how the bottom will look right there so I'm gonna go finish and do both ears and then I will see you guys in a few minutes <laughs> part because you want to get the ears just right and everything but just try not to tweak out I've done this a few times where I I have a good idea of where to place the ears but if you are a little nervous about having them even you can take a pencil and like lay both the ears down on the table and with the headband and then like draw a pencil etch on where like the parameters on where you need to place the ear um, but yeah, so let's go. <laughs> so you are going to glue on the ear with the hot glue gun, same for the bow. So let me see which, I for sure want that on the front, and then I think that. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one first. Let's see, I still kinda get nervous doing this myself, to be honest, just because. <laughs> So put a good 
good line on there. Oops! <laughs> and then press it in firm like this and then just hold it. And let me grab my <laughs> extension cord. <laughs> So I hold it for a good while. And another thing that sometimes people might freak out about is the, sometimes the glue might seep through, maybe you use too much or whatever. Don't worry about it, try not to smear it. A cool thing about hot glue is when it hardens, it's pretty easy to peel off. So what I can do, I have a special utensil, it almost resembles like tweezers, and I grab the glue and I can just peel it off so you can't see it on the outside. Yeah. That's perfect though. I love this fabric so much, it's so cute. I would love for you guys to share this tutorial and uh, make ears based off of it and tag me when you make the ears because I would love to see what fabrics you guys use. I just like love finding cool fabrics. It's literally like one of my favorite things. Okay, and I can guarantee that when I do the glue gun again, my, uh, the glue gun is gonna fall, so just don't be alarmed. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna put my alarm on. Right there, actually no, right there for right now. I just wanna make sure I'm getting this here in the same area that the other ear is in. You just kinda like visualize it. <laughs> And then we're also, these are just a fun pair of ears, so this is supposed to be fun, so like don't, don't make it too serious. <laughs> See what I did there? I put it on my lap instead of putting it on the table here because I knew it was going to fall off. <laughs> okay, so same thing here. I'm going to hold it down. <laughs> so after this dries, just got the bow to do. And then before you put them on, I would like let them dry for like 24 hours, even though hot glue like pretty much dries like right then and there, but just in case. And I also want to say, while like these aren't just going to fall apart, <laughs> they're not going to withstand you like shoving them in your backpack or shoving them in your luggage. Um, if you're traveling, I would pack them tight in your suitcase so like it doesn't have any area to shift or there's special like ear suitcases you can buy um, or sometimes what I've done if I really like a pair of ears and I really just want to make sure it's okay I'll honestly just carry them or wear them <laughs> on the plane yeah but obviously if you live by the parks you don't really have to worry about traveling with your ears so that's like a benefit um, okay so that's how they look without the bow and I have a little excess glue like on the side. So again, like I said, when that like totally dries, I will take a tweezers and just peel that off. And the good thing about hot glue is it won't leave like a residue. It just peels right off. All right. So last but not least, the bow. So obviously the bow goes right in the middle. <laughs> and what I do is I kind of just make a clump of glue just kind of like right in the middle there and I just put this cute little baby right on and I will hold that for a few seconds here yeah and kind of same thing with the bow if some glue kind of like seeps out um just take it off with the tweezers also if people are getting close enough to your ears to see that there's like just little bits of glue, that might be a little bit of a warning sign that people are getting too close to your personal bubble. <laughs> I just know some of my friends that can be pretty perfectionist with their ears. And I mean, rightly so, if they're selling them or things like that. But if these are just for yourself, don't worry about it. Just have fun and everything like that. I'm just making sure the bow is good. Yeah! There we go, aren't they so cute? I will do a close up look at them once they dry a little bit so you guys can see. And I will also take off the glue so you can see like what it looks like when I take the glue off uh, with my special tweezer utensil. But yeah, super easy peasy and it's super fun. 
And I hope that you guys do this and share this tutorial so other people can do it too. And tag me when you guys make your own ears. All right, bye guys. See you real soon. Oh,